I was talking about the cold email tech stack that we are going to be using in 2024 as of Q1 2024. Um, a lot of things have changed over the past, like two, even just like two months, um, in terms of our tech stack, a lot of new updates came out, a lot of just changes with software in general, ESPs, things like that. So I figured this might be helpful for some of y'all just to keep you updated with what we have found to be the most effective and, um, yeah, just efficient tech that there is on the market right now for cold email. So. Let's dive into it, right? So first we got the email account. So we're using Outlook and this is, here, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just leak it. Something crazy. Um, we're testing out this private infrastructure called SuperWave. It so far it's been great. Um, recommend you guys checking them out. If you want to use it, you do have to book a call with them. I believe, um, I think you DM them on Twitter. I don't remember their exact at. But yeah, so we're using Outlook. We have basic Outlook accounts, um, but we're also testing out SuperWave as well right now. So far it's working well. Um, basic Outlook accounts, they're working well. SuperWave, doing super well. The nice thing about SuperWave is that um, once the email accounts are set up, you can send, you can, you can send immediately day one. No, no more period is needed. Uh, the thing is you do have to ramp up the email sending over like a two week period. And you want to make sure warmth is going on during that period. Email deliverability day, day one is not going to be like the best. Um, or it's going to be, I think, I think it was like 70%, you'll have like 70% deliverability day one or something like that. But after the two week period, after you ramp up, you'll get up to like 95, 99% deliverability and you'll be good from there. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking them out. They're legit. Um, of course, smart lead for email sending. And we're also using it for the master inbox now. Before I used to harp on this a lot. I used to harp on smart lead and instantly their master inboxes being really trash. But the thing is, smart lead, they came with the update recently where they released the master inbox 3.0 or something like that. And the email, the, the replies, they all come through real time. So what we've done, we set up a Slack Zapier you know, notification thing to where we have a channel uh, with all of our clients, all the replies that come through, they are funneled to this channel. So the inbox manager, he can immediately go in there and go to each of these replies, res respond instantly. Um, the smartly master inbox, it has the reply templates feature, so you can store all your clients um, reply templates inside of the one smart lead. So essentially we have all of our clients congregating this one smart lead. Um, and we can manage all of our clients' inboxes just from Smart Lead, which has made things so much easier, super efficient. Um, haven't seen any problems with, you know, delays on the replies coming through. They did a really good job with this update. It's absolutely huge, game changing. So, yeah, for now, we're just using Smart Lead for, for everything, really. Um, Smart Lead or for sending and then for the master inbox. Um, for automated follow-up too, it, it's, it's kind of becoming the all, all encompassing cold email software. Um, so yeah, that's huge. And in terms of for lead scraping, we're using Apollo for Apollo. We have a custom lead scraper. Um, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna give away that, that info right now, because last time I did that, the last scraper I was using got banned. So I'm gonna have to keep them low. But there is, if you, if you take your time, you do your research, you can find some sort of Apollo scraper out there. Um, but yeah, you can do it yourself. And then we're also testing out clay, which this is like a more sophisticated lead database software. Um, you can do a bunch of AI personalization from there, make really segmented lists. Um, essentially what clay is, you can, it's like a place where it's like congregated data from all the other databases. Um, so we'll get data from Apollo, LinkedIn, um, I think zoom info, I'm not completely sure snob, but yeah, it's cool. We're, we're testing it out, but we still use for the most part, we use, uh, Apollo. Um, clay is definitely a little bit more pricey compared to Apollo, but there's some cool things you do with it, especially if, if you have a smaller TAM, I'd recommend hopping on clay. Um, 
But if you're a mass email sender like us, you know, if you're sending like a hundred thousand emails per month, um, per client, something like that, then you're probably going to want to stick with the follow up because Clay does have a, uh, unlimited credits plan. I think it's probably like, it's like 5k a month or something. So that might be worth it. We might test that in the future. For now, we're just running with the follow for the most part. Um, but yeah, I think in the future, Clay might be a big investment that we make <clears throat> in terms of going for like the unlimited plan. And then this is more of like a, just a protocol in general, but spin tax, like just maximizing spin tax going extremely hard. I mean, like legit every single, almost every word within our cold email that we write is spin tax. There's, there's, we, we want to make it to where if we send a million emails, cause we will we likely send, you know, we send millions of emails a month. Um, that not a single email is going to be the same, right? So we go extremely hard in this because these ESPs are getting really good at telling or at recognizing these patterns of seeing this. If, if two emails are the same um, and this happens over and over again, it's going to get marked spam very, very, very quickly. So you want to make sure that you are maximizing spin tax really hard. Um, just making sure throughout the entire email, everything is spin tax, just every little part. Maybe I'll make a video on that someday, um, covering how to maximize spin tax, but really just go through all your email and just keep, you know, just switch out different spots. Um, we do legit every single line, every single word, everything is spin tax. So yeah, just go really hard on it, max it out. Um, do not slack on that. And then this, this is actually changing. This is actually outdated. Like we're really in reality, we're looking to start pushing like 4,000 emails per day per client, um, depending on their TAM, of course, is different for some other clients. Like let's say we have one for us as a smaller TAM, um, maybe we only do like one or 2000 per day or even lower than that. If it's a really small TAM, we typically don't work with people with that small of a TAM. Um, but for some other clients, we it's much bigger TAM, like, you know, we're sending a million emails per month for them. So, but obviously on average, we're looking to push about 4,000 emails per day per client. Um, we work with, with a lot of creative agencies targeting e-commerce. So that's the sort of volume that we're looking to push for them because nowadays really every offer is saturated at this point. Um, these people are being bombarded. They've seen every offer. So it's really just becoming a numbers game. It's becoming a numbers game plus offering a lot of free value up front, which I will create, I'll probably create a video on offers soon offers over cold email particularly. Um, but volume is a very, is a big player, right? Because the thing is there's getting there, these, these prospects they are receiving so many emails per day that even if you're approaching them with an, with a great offer, um, that's relevant to them, they might just still be opposed to it just because, you know, there's 50 other people in your inbox offering something that's similar, right? So it's, yeah, it's really just become a numbers game. And what we want to do is just maximize for that. Right. <clears throat> but yeah, in the end, honestly, the, we're, we're pushing more volume. We're doing more in terms of the campaign creation side of things and just campaign management side of things. But this, the setup is becoming simpler over time. I mean, Smartly is pushing all these updates to where we can really manage the entire system just from Smartly, uh, which, which is huge, right? We can manage a lot more clients just from one place. Um, it's gonna make scaling a lot easier, but <clears throat> yeah, just to summarize, summarize, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so for email accounts, we're using Outlook with Superwave, Smart Lead for sending master inbox, um, inbox management, Paul and Clay for lead scraping. Um, so we want to maximize spin tax for our campaigns and then looking to push 4,000 emails per day per client, right? So if you're interested in us pushing 4,000 emails per day for you guys, you can check out revgrowth.ai um come to this nice little button here hit, hit book a call with me you can speak with me um we'll set up all this infrastructure for you and your business and we'll also manage it completely done for you so if you're interested in that if you have a good offer if you're doing <clears throat> you know at least at least five hundred thousand dollars a year at your agency <laughs> i don't know why i think about that for a bit um yeah come over here book a call with us 
and I will talk to you soon. Cheers.